Alas, ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived at the final day of final February. I have to say, it's been fun. But, if today had to be the final day, we can take some pride in the fact that it happened on Hump Day! That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Hump Day. February 28th, we made it through, almost made it through one-sixth of this year. I've kept this, I kept making these videos up for that long. Yay! I've kept my New Year's resolution up for this long. Something about that may not necessarily be a good thing, but I don't care. So, I gotta say, this past, these past few days have been pretty good. Especially if you are one of my brothers. And I'll let you know why. See, back when I was a Trinity Poly, the biggest thing we ever talked about, one of the biggest things we ever talked about at times, you know, it would be bigger than football, it'd be bigger than the cross. The one of the things that was most often talked about was hockey. Trinity Poly was really big into hockey. So big, in fact, you know, we have a hockey team. You know, we have our own rink, which is a very beautiful rink. In fact, it's still there even now, obviously. In fact, um, funny story. The year I was there, they had to, they were rebuilding the dining hall. So in the beginning of the year, we actually had dinner on the hockey rink. Obviously, there wasn't ice on the hockey rink, obviously, because, you know, that would be, that'd be dangerous. But, you know, it was a very beautiful rink then. I'm sure it's very beautiful now. And I'm talking hockey right now because... For the first time in Trinity Pauling history, uh, the Trinity Pauling hockey team won the Empire Cup. And now they're going to the New England tournament where they actually have a game today, but I forget. Oh, right. I know it's at Pomfret, but I, for, I know it's at a school called Pomfret, but I forget who they're playing against next. But the point is, this is huge. You know. Some of my, some of the best, some, well, obviously they're all really great people, but a lot of great people I knew from Trinity Pauling were hockey players. One of our prefects was a hockey player. In fact, he was one of the hockey captains. Another interesting fact, of one, another one of my brothers, he just got engaged yesterday. Or at least he made it known yesterday, which is awesome. How does this coincide? Because this guy was another one of the hockey players, as well as another one of the hockey captains. Not the one who was a prefect, but still. It's awesome. And well, engagements of any kind are awesome, let's be honest. The, the, the engagements, weddings, all that stuff, it's a beautiful thing, as I've made known on, this, on these videos before. But, you know, just the timing of it all, between training, pawling, hockey, doing so well, and a former alumni from Trinity Poly who was a hockey player just got engaged. How could the timing really couldn't be any better? You know, I'll, I'll put a link up top uh, somewhere. But you know, I'm really happy for my brothers because you know what they've earned it. You know, I'm really happy for everyone who worked hard. I'm really happy for. My old cross country coach because he also coached hockey as well. In fact, um, when I ran cross country, I actually was okay, but there was one day where I really wasn't doing very well. That coach actually, um, he would check on how we were doing by driving around the course in his truck. He saw me sort of dogging a little bit, and he actually got out and sort of ran and ran it with me, and you know. He was known for being a yeller, but he and I, we actually talked. And it was great. I mean, I was, in fact, when, keep in mind, and just so you know, I was actually like near the front of the group, where he saw me sort of dogging a little bit. It was, we're all running the course at like different paces or whatever, obviously, and like, I think only three people were in front of me, but, you know, I sort of, I just lost steam is all. He ran it with me, he talked, we talked, and you know what? Even though he was a yeller, he was still a really cool guy. Sorry, my uh, my alarm, my uh, 
My alarm just went off. It turns off automatically after a few seconds. Anyway, so as we're running, you know, we talked, and yeah, he was known for being a yeller. In fact, he even told me that whether he's coaching hockey or whether he's coaching cross country, his, his saying always remains the same, which is move your feet. And so I always do. Because, yeah, moving your feet requires you to win the competition, but there's a deeper meaning to that. And when you're saying move your feet, it isn't just saying do all you can to win, even though that's kind of what you're supposed to do. What he's really saying is, no matter what, keep moving forward. And that's always what I'll take from it. And that's what these, that's what my brothers have always done. In fact, my brothers for Trinity Pauling Hockey have proven that more than anyone has it right now. Well, in this moment in time. I'm sure there are other people who have done the same exact thing, just not for hockey. But you you get my point. They worked hard. They always kept moving forward. And that's why I always keep moving forward as well. That's why I always continue to make these videos. So, yeah. Even though February is almost over, I'm actually looking forward to March. I mean, there really isn't a holiday I dislike at all. I mean, to be honest, I love Valentine's Day. I mean, I would think my video on day 45 would have showed you that. Ha! See, I do pay attention to what videos which. So, I mean, I love the holiday. In fact, I proved that I... I keep happy for though I'm happy for everyone who's in a relationship on that day, which honestly I should do, which honestly I really should do every day. So yeah, I do that every day. But I love St. Patrick's Day. I love the color green. In fact, funny story: when I was little, green was my favorite color. And you know my family's really big into football, so. You have a team named the Green Bay Packers. Keep in mind, I mean, I don't hate the Packers now, but I don't like Aaron Rodgers. I do not like Aaron Rodgers. He's kind of an idiot. Anyway, you know, you're an impressionable young boy. Your family's big into football. And there's a team named the Green Bay Packers. How are you not going to root for that? And, actually, I probably already mentioned this, but that same year I did, they lost to the Broncos in the Super Bowl. I remember being very upset by that. But, honestly, looking back on it, John Elway earned both of the Super Bowl victories. Considering that his first three were downright utter tragedies, and the year before they suffered their worst loss in the AFC Wild card game, I believe, in their t- in the Broncos team history, they lost to Jacksonville, by the way, in that game. So yeah, LA earned it. I mean, don't get me wrong; I still love the color green, and there are some players I like on the Green Bay Packers. I like Mike Daniels, that one uh, defensive tackle they have. I like that one Ricky Jean Francois. I think is what his name is. He's kind of cool. So yeah, there are some people I like. I mean, again, there's players on every team I like. In fact, as much as I don't like the Eagles, I do like Carson Wentz and Nick Foles. I do like those guys. And, yeah, I'm happy for Nick Foles. Then again, he does have the same first name as me, so that probably helps. Anyway, I've rambled on about lot. <laughs> Let's see, the end of February, the color green... And Trinity Pauling Hockey. I think that's a good way to stop. So, again, I'm humbled that I am making these videos for all you guys to watch. I'm hopeful that we all have a wonderful day today. And remember, if you guys ever want to talk, if you guys ever want to chat, I'll always be here to lend an ear. And I'll always have your back. Take care.